Fox News betrays Lindsey Graham. Hi, welcome to JOA. If you're new to my channel, please click subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be the first to know when I upload. So Trump basically stated in an interview with journalist Bob, Bob Woodward, who's pretty much a seasoned journalist from the Washington Post, that um, Trump wanted to play down the gravity of COVID-19. And that's because in Trump's defense, he's claiming that he didn't want to frighten the public and he didn't want people to know how basically rigorous it was because um, he compared it um, to being really drastically as more, um, you know, more rigorous than an actual flu. Uh, President Xi saying yesterday. Well, we were talking mostly about the, uh, the virus and... I think he's going to have it in good shape, but you know it's a very tricky situation. It's uh, indeed it goes it, is. it goes through air, Bob. That's always tougher than the touch. You know, the touch you don't have to touch things, right? But the air, you just breathe the air, and that's how it's uh, passed. And so that's a very tricky one. That's a very delicate one. Uh, it's also more deadly than your, you know, your even your strenuous flus. You know, people don't realize we lose 25,000, 30,000 people a year here. Who, who would ever think that, right? I know. It's I mean, much it's pretty forgotten. amazing. And um, then I say, well, is that the same thing? For, this is uh, more president. deadly. This is 5 per, you know, this is 5% versus 1% and less than 1%. You know, so this is deadly stuff. John, I, I just want all of us to remember we are used to the virus now as used as you can be but if you go back to the beginning of february the american public we thought this was a problem in china the notion of it being airborne uh five percent more deadly these are very specific details that the president had in the very same time period that he is saying it's all going to go away. Right, that's February 7th. You just played that piece February of the conversation. 7th. He talks about how deadly it is. He said two weeks later, 20 days later in India, it's a problem that's going to go away. And within a couple of days, it's going to be down to zero. The president telling Woodward one thing, telling the American people and the world something very different. But you, the interesting part is the president makes no bones about it, that he was doing this on purpose, that he decided as a strategy not to convey the seriousness of this because he didn't want to, quote, incite a panic. Correct. And Lindsey Graham basically um, said that he set up this interview and he wanted Trump to do an interview with Woodward and um, come to find out, you know, now there's audio tapes that's trending on Twitter about the whole interview exchange that Trump had with this journalist. And Tucker Carlson is not happy about it. Why in the world would he do that? Well, tonight from a source who knows the answer to that mystery. Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina. It was Lindsey Graham who helped convince Donald Trump to talk to Bob Woodward. Lindsey Graham brokered that meeting. Lindsey Graham even sat in on the first interview between Bob Woodward and the president. How'd that turn out? Now, remember, Lindsey Graham is supposed to be a Republican, so why would he do something like that? You'd have to ask him. But keep in mind that Lindsey Graham has opposed, passionately opposed, virtually every major policy initiative that Donald Trump articulated when he first ran from ending illegal immigration to pulling back from pointless wars to maintaining law and order at home. Lindsey Graham was against all of that more than many Democrats. So maybe you already know the answer. So in my whole opinion, and I'm not defending the man Trump, I'm just looking at this as a free thinker type of thinking. I, I, I can even assume or even guess based on what I've watched and what I've heard and what I've read about Dr. Fauci. I don't even think Dr. Fauci has the answers to how to, how to handle this COVID-19, how to handle this pressure. So in Trump's defense, I, I think this, despite the fact that, you know, this is kind of a sensitive thing to talk about because at the moment there are like 200,000 people that died because of COVID, right? So, you know, I, I can't, I can't say had Trump basically told the public that this COVID situation is going to be as rigorous as it as it is as dangerous as it is that um possibly we could have saved several thousands of lives we could have saved thirty six thousand lives which i believe joe biden is kind of saying in his defense to trying to win this campaign um but then at the same time you got you got people who aren't obeying 
um, the rules, who aren't wearing masks, who aren't going to stores and wearing masks, you know, for the first like three, four months of this whole pandemic. So in my defense, I, I do firmly believe had he said how dangerous this virus was to the public, I do feel like it would it would have limited the number of deaths. It would have limited the number of division in this country and it would have had the majority of people from the right basically obeying um, Trump's order because, you know, you know, I was going to defend the man. I was going to defend Trump in this scenario. But thinking about it now, I'm just like, you know what? It's 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 insane because there's thousands of, of videos of Karens and of people of get it giving service worker problems. And, you know, during this time of covid, I worked in the service industry and, you know, a lot of people are nasty to you and it was hard. And this president basically promoted this virus as something that, quote unquote, would go away. And and that is simple. And the fact that, you know, he basically even, you know, picked on Joe Biden about him wearing a mask. And he even basically just picked on the fact of wearing a mask. He didn't like to wear a mask. So the fact that he knew this earlier on and he downplayed it as something that would go away, as something that maybe UV ultraviolet rays would succumb to virus, would lower the virus level. It's, it's kind of, you know, I can't defend that. Like, I can't. You know, it, this is not a Democratic or Republican issue. This is a humanistic issue. This is a people issue. We're talking about lives here, man. We're talking about 200,000 people that died. You know, I live in a city that was really on the par of being one of the top three uh, states in um, the United States of America that was highly affected by this virus. So I can't sit here and defend Trump. Now, um, do do I feel like if if this was announced beforehand, hey, this is what it is, I think it would have been less it would it would have been less riskier. Yeah, in my opinion, I do feel okay, well maybe Dr. Fauci doesn't have all the answers, but I feel like everyone would have wore masks, businesses would have probably closed, people wouldn't have their set agenda of saying, No, I'm gonna be open, this is just another um, you know, thing that's going on with, uh, like they had an Ebola and his wife, the swine flu and, you know, the SARS during the Obama's age. So by Trump downplaying it, I feel like it made the right feel as if this is something that, you know, the media just wants to poo out, spoo out for content. You see what I mean? So I can't defend him for this. Um, do I think in terms of presidency wise, and I'm going to get hate for this, but presidency, presidency wise, I think he has a mouth. Trump has a mouth. And he was highly wrong for the situation. But in terms of getting stuff done, if it was out of Biden or Trump, I'm going to say I think Trump would get more stuff done um, than Biden. I, and I highly do believe that. I don't have faith in Biden at all. I really don't. I, I don't. I just don't have faith in him. You know, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are going to unsubscribe and probably get hate, hateful comments for this. But I still don't have a lot of... Um, I don't have faith in Joe Biden. And another thing is, this COVID situation, according to Trump, shouldn't have happened. And I agree, it shouldn't have. I believe this situation was purposeful as as opposed to accidental. And, you know, China, I, I, you know, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but, you know, it's China. You know, China is known for doing stupid things like this. But anyways, let me know what you get in comments below. Please click subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be the first to know when I upload deuces. Yeah.